Hey everybody, welcome to episode 34 of Round the Twist. It's April 8th, 2010, and let's just jump right into things. Um, on the needles, I still have Glynis working my way through the Sock Innovation book by Cookie A. This is in the Volmiza 100%, uh, 100%, I believe it's Merino, uh, in the D. Ouster colorway, which is beautiful. I'm loving it so far. I think I've got one more decrease round to go on the gusset, and then I can just motor my way out the foot and hopefully get this first sock done soon. Um, I've been a little bit distracted lately, mainly uh, doing some spinning stuff, uh, which I'll tell you about in a bit, and also working on, well, first, let me tell you, I am loving the signature needles. I love them. Oh, don't want my yarn to go on my coffee. Love them, love them muchly. This pattern calls for knit three togethers and slip, slip, slip knits. And if it weren't for, well, here, let me show you on, this is the size ones that I got. If it weren't for this stiletto point, I would never get those knit three togethers done. So signature needles in my book, completely worth the money to shell out if you're good, planning on doing the cookie A patterns. Or at the very least, you want some kind of needle with a very pointy tip. This isn't a pattern that I'd like to attempt with, like, bamboo double points or something like that. Um, you need something something sharp, something pointy. Uh, so, yeah, that's coming along. I haven't really touched it. I actually took it home when I went to visit my parents over Easter, but I didn't knit on it. I knit instead on the second vanilla rainbow sock. There's the first. Here's the second. I'm actually out past the gusset, motoring my way out the foot, and I've been knitting on this constantly. Uh, this is the Trekking, 100, uh, Trekking XXL in the colorway 100, which I haven't been able to find anywhere online, but I love it. it uh, just the color progression and the way that, I don't know if you can see, there's the, the plies are all different colors, and that's what gets you the gradual color shift. It's similar to the Zauber Ball Crazy, but having knit with the Crazy and then the two-ply and then knit with this, this is not nearly as splitty as the Crazy is, but um, as an option, you have that. So, and those are on the US ones, the 2.25 millimeters. Um, yeah, the show's a little late this week, and I'm sorry about that. I got home from our Stitch and Bitch down at Whole Foods, and I got a little bit sidetracked um, and nap attacked. Um, and the nap attack turned into pretty much a full night of sleep for me, which is bad since I work night shift. So I basically slept five hours overnight. I got up for a couple hours this morning and slept two more hours, and I've been up since 1030 this morning. This is weird to be up during, during daylight hours. This is really, really odd. Um, but, yeah, the other things that I've been working on have all been spinning related. That's been it for the knitting. Uh, I've been flick carding the fleece from, ooh, let me get her picture up, from Millie that I showed you her picture and talked about um, how I got her at the Estes Park Wool Market last year. But this is some of her washed fleece that I did in the washing machine. And I did post um, my step-by-step -step how I did that on the Ravelry group. There's a thread, uh, I think, called Processing Fleece that someone asked me how they how I had done it since they had tried it and had ended up felting some of their fiber. But this is some of the clean fleece from Millie. And I've been flick carding it. And Chrissy the Great, who does the Manic Pearl podcast, did a fabulous video on how to flick card, but I'm just going to show you really quick. Uh, I pull off a lock, put a couple twists in it, take my flick carder and just pull a couple times till fibers are all lined up and nice and loose. And you can actually spin from the lock this way, but I'm actually going to drum card this afterwards. You flip it around, do the same thing on the butt end, and you've got this lovely little fluffy bit of fiber. I love it. It's so soft and so pretty. And then all of the little short bits, the second cuts, um, most of the veg matter, the little bit that there is, comes out. And this, uh, you can save it to stuff, do stuffed animals with if you want. Um, you can put it in your garden for compost. You can do anything with it. Um, but I've been working on that. And this will then, this weekend, be drum carded. Uh, my parents are coming down and dad to help with some uh, housework stuff and dad is very excited to help with the drum carter. So I've got all of this in here 
flip carded, which is a very small amount of the actual clean fleece, which this is part of the clean fleece, and I have a sweater drying rack with two levels that both levels are completely full of more fleece, so I've barely put a drop in the bucket of getting this thing done, but I've begun. It's great. Um, I've also spun more of the Crown Mountain Farms Atlantis. This is still the first bobbin, but I'm on to the second bobbin. I spun some more at Whole Foods last night. Um, added on to that a little bit. And my big thing was last night, they had a demo on how to drop spindle. Now, I learned to spin backwards. I learned to spin first on a wheel, and I didn't learn to drop spindle until last night. This is the Maggie uh, mid whorl spindle from Magpie Woodworks, and I've linked to that in the show notes. And I'm working on um, the Unique Sheep, the Coffee Club. They sent the second shipment that they sent was a gradients colorway. So I'm going to spin this all up on my drop spindle. That's going to be my practice. I don't like drop spindling as much as the wheel, I don't feel like I have as much control. But it's nice because it's portable and whatever. And I actually got this spindle last year from the Magpie Woodworks people out at Estes Park. It's a wonderful spindle. It's really well balanced. They do great work with it. So if you're looking for a good basic drop spindle, their stuff is fabulous. Um, next big things that are going to be on the needles. I've got a couple different people that I know that are having babies soon. My neighbors across the street are expecting a boy in June. And I'm going out of the Mason Dixon knitting their first book. Um, whoop, get the thing out of the way. And I'm actually going to do the modern baby blanket. Um, let's see if I can find it. Where's the picture? There it is, that one. But there is the pattern itself is available for free on Ravelry, and I've linked to that. Um, there is some errata, so just make sure you check. And, yeah, I've ordered some Knit, Pink, Knit Picks Comfy. I think the sport weight was what I ended up going with um, in three different colors of blue and then a gray um, for that. So I'll work on that first. And I've got one of my coworkers on the night shift, one of the uh, my fellow nurses, is expecting a baby as well. And only she's not finding out what she's having. She's making it difficult on me. So the latest Knit Picks catalog came, and once again, I forgot to bring it in here. Um, and on the back, the Knitted Traditions, or New Traditions Knitted Baby Blanket, that looks like um, a bunch of quilt blocks that are actually knit and then sewn together. Uh, I ordered the kit for that. And yeah, so yeah, baby stuff knitting coming up in my future. In events, there's two weeks until spring fling. I'm very excited. Stuff start, everyone's starting to kind of get wound up about it. Um, so I'll be in St. Louis the weekend of April 22nd through the 26th, I believe it is. And then I'll be in Estes Park for the Wool Market June 10th through the 13th. And I'll talk more about that one as it gets closer. Um, yeah, I really think that's it. I uh, really haven't had anything go majorly, majorly wrong with the knitting. Work's been great, life's been good, and the weather is starting to get beautiful outside. Um, so hopefully everyone else's spring is going as well as mine is. And if not, just keep knitting. It, it saved my sanity multiple times. And I will see you guys next week. Happy knitting.